Think of the life of Buddha who experienced perhaps the peak experience of God that one can have in life. People call that enlightenment. So those who sent him into the world afterwards says, great, now we want you to teach. Must have been very disappointing for him. He wanted to hang out in that blissful, wonderful place, right? No, you need to go out and teach. 40 years, walking, teaching. It's what you do in this life that matters. Where you come from is the place of being. You need to have experiences of being while you're here, certainly. But it's what you do in life that matters. If you don't do what you came here to do, you will feel restless, frustrated, ill at ease with yourself, self-critical. All the things you see that are so common in people's experience and attitudes. What are you here to do? Only knowledge knows. It's a, it's a treasure you cannot open yourself. It has to be initiated by the higher powers. Because you're in coordination with those higher powers, you see. You can't use knowledge as a resource. What? That's not relationship. Relationship is about uniting to do something together. God has sent you to do something that needs to be done, that you can do. Very small task, but very specific. Very important, not just to you personally, but perhaps to the larger scheme of things here. You don't need to understand the full meaning of what you're here to do. <clears throat> but you have to be in a place to respond to the movement of knowledge within you that wants to take you in that direction. And you go in that direction without an understanding of where it's taking you. You go because you must go. Compelled to go. Compelled from within. Not by another person. Not by a religious institution. Not by your parents. Or your spouse. Something you know you must do. These, this is the beginning of a greater journey in life. What it will end up being and where it will take you and whom you will meet is something you can't see at the outset. That is why understanding is not the goal here. It's participation. The real understanding comes later. You get higher up this mountain, figuring the image is climbing a mountain. You can begin to see the lay of the land. And what could not be seen before now becomes evident. Without this, life is haphazard. There's no real purpose and direction to it. You can have a thousand experiences. You can travel the world. And the primary engagement hasn't happened yet. God is about relationship. Who you are is about relationship. What you're a part of is relationship already. But in entering a life in physical existence, it has separated us from ourselves. The separation isn't just from God, it's within. So now the soul wanders in the universe, while the deeper part of you stays connected to its source. So what is the plan of God but to bring you back to that part of you that is still connected? And have that now become the directing force of your life. The Lord of countless galaxies is not going to manage your daily affairs. It's ridiculous. Do you think God is your errand boy? God, give me this. God, get me that. God, take care of this for me. People think like that. 
and God is just sort of micromanaging them because they're so powerless, they really can't deal with what they have to deal with. There's no spiritual welfare here. This is an engagement for a purpose. You have come for a purpose. It may not be what you want, but deep down you'll know it is true, and you really will want it. But people don't live deep down. They live at the surface of their mind, a turbulent surface, where life doesn't seem to have any real meaning or direction. Deep down are the deeper currents of your life. The new message gives us the analogy of the ocean from the surface looking over the side of the boat. Where the ocean is going, how would you ever know? It's blown by the winds of the world. It's calm one day, turbulent the next day. It doesn't seem to have any direction, but deep down, there are deep currents carrying the waters of the world all over the planet being impacted by celestial forces. So that analogy, maybe perhaps, can speak to you. Who you are is not your mind or your body. These are vehicles of communication that life has given you to be in the world. But your deeper purpose was something you brought with you, and it lives within you now. So think of God as your primary relationship. And where you will experience this primary relationship most powerfully, most consistently, is in your relationship with yourself, with others, and with the world. Spirituality, religion here, is not about getting out of the world. It's about getting into the world with the purpose that has brought you here. The new message is interesting. In many different teachings, it talks about what happens after you leave this world. And it's a very similar scenario that gets described. Um, you go back to those who sent you, and they look at you and they say, did you get it done? And in that moment, you'll know exactly what they're talking about. Because it will seem as if it was moments before you were with them before you entered that life. Because that's being outside of time. And you will know what you can't know now. Because when you leave this life, you won't have any beliefs. That's why belief is not the answer. Belief can help you. Belief can hinder you. But in the end, it's to take you, to re-engage with knowledge within yourself, and to begin to follow where knowledge wants to take you in life, which is a place of real meaning and purpose. Only this will really resolve your internal conflict, your issues with yourself, your restlessness, your disappointment, your ambivalence, weakness. The new God experience is the return to who you are, why you're here, and those who sent you. It's a return to relationship. What lifts you out of separation even while you live here? The return to relationship. Elemental. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Who you will meet in this life, the influences you will have upon each other, the relationships you have today, they're either helping you go where you need to go or they're standing in your way. With the exception of your children, who you are bound to support to a certain age. This stirring of your soul is telling you that the time has come. This restlessness deep inside, this feeling of just can't stand the shallowness 
the superficiality of conversation and relationships and the restless something else for you. You need to find it. The new God experience will prepare you and show you the way to go.